throw all of my dolls out there. It is me again, and I'm here bringing you a hair tutorial. The other day, I did this really, really cute updo, and I thought to myself, hmm, maybe I should make a hair tutorial. I don't make a lot of them because I don't usually really pin up my hair in funky and cool ways. So I figured that since this was like one of the first times that I did it, I should make a video on it. So I did. Well, I am. Well, you know what I'm trying to say. So yeah. Um, this is really cute and really simple. You can wear this out if you have a fancy event to go to or if you just want to put your hair up because it's raining like I did. Or if you want to do something different with your hair, you can do that. You can embellish this hairstyle with hats, scarves, flowers, pins, anything that you can find to pin up in your hair. You can use it to decorate the updo that you're going to put together. I know I have this weird stripe thing going on in the front of my face, but yeah, the lighting is, uh, you know, making that go down so let's begin what you're going to need is an old twist out or braid out or a freshly new one if you um you know just talk to just put down your hair the next day you can use that fresh twist twist out but it also works for an older two day maybe three day or a week old braid out or twist out um you're going to need a soft bristle brush I'm not going to be using mine because I want mine to look more messier, but if you want yours to look a little bit more uh, put together and a little bit more smoother, then use a soft bristle brush as opposed to a soft one because it's softer on your hair. Um, also, if you're going to go for a, you know, cleaner type of updo, then you're going to need some type of gel or some type of jam or whatnot to slick up your sides. I would recommend using shea butter, but if you want to use some other type of pommy that's your favorite you can do that as well maybe some edge control but like I said I'm going for a messier updo so if you want to do it all messy like me then you don't need all that all you need are some pins well, regardless you're gonna need pins so even if you do it messy or you know proper you're gonna need some bobby pins so let's begin um yeah my hair is all crazy and fluffed out and all that good stuff but if you're just taking down your twist fluff out your hair you know I should have a clip I'm gonna put a clip like right here showing you how I'm gonna fluff out you know my hair and whatnot so you can see that okay and you should be back from that clip now how you doing if you're not then uh, I didn't put the clip in and that was um just you know a little awkward moment that we shared so yeah let's continue um I am going to start pinning the back of my hair so I'm gonna turn around get your pins ready because you're gonna need them now I'm gonna turn around so that you can see how I'm gonna twist up the back okay warning my hair is different lengths in the back so it may look a little funky like the sides may not you know all go up together but I'll show you later how I fluff that out so don't worry about it if it's like gaps in between so let me turn around now okay so now we're gonna get started I'm going to take the back of my hair, and this will be where you use your brush to brush up the back and make it look all pretty. But since I'm going for a messy look, I'm just going to smush it all up, like so. Okay, so then once you get all the hairs up, because that's basically why you're smoothing it, is because you want to get all the hairs up together, you're going to start to twist up, like so. And you smooth all the hairs up as you twist, and you're going to twist it straight up like so so that you have a smooth back you know twist all the way up so once you get that little notch at the top you're going to take a bobby pin like so you're going to take a bobby pin and you're going to pin it to your hair you're going to, you're going to put that pin right through the top of that notch so that it stays secure Now if you want to, you can add a second one. I'm going to add a second one because there's a lot of hair that's going up. But you don't have to if you don't want to. But I am because my hair is a little thick. Okay. So once you got the back pinned up, you should have this lovely mushroom pile here. And if your hair is longer, then you have some long, fabulous stuff going on. But if your hair is medium length like mine, it's just short in the front. 
So this is where you're gonna begin to sculpt your updo. You can you can smooth it to the side, you can smooth this side, you can smooth the back, however you wanna do it. But I'm probably gonna smooth it over to this side because I like the way it you know it goes. So once again, if you're doing this the neat way, this would be where you add your little gel and you smooth on to the side. But if you're riding dirty like I am, you're just gonna mush it and it's gonna be okay. So you're gonna take it. And you're gonna do what you did in the back, but on the side, and you're going to just smooth it out. And you're gonna twist. Now I know that like, you can't see it because of the way that I am, but basically you're just doing the same thing you did to the back, to the side. And you're gonna twist it towards the twist that you had in the back. So you see, I'm twisting it and it's going towards the notch I've created in the back. Once again, I'm gonna take my pen, open it up and put the pin at the top of where my fingers are holding the hair. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and smooth my hair to the side and make it a bit more mohawk-like and just smooth it out, add another pin and basically pin the sides up like I would a regular mohawk also that the hair falls on one side so you see I have all my hair pushing over to this side I'm gonna pull some down in the front give me a little bit of a bang now you see I got this part here what you just did to this side you're gonna do to this side so you're gonna smooth it up and twist it towards the big old hair notch that you got in the back. Okay, my pen wants to open. Make sure you get some pins that open so you won't have to go through a struggle like I just had to go to. And gonna just pin that and your head so you should have a cute little little updo in front of you okay now if you're like me and you're lacking a little bit of hair in the back like all of your lengths don't all come up together then you're gonna have to do a little bit of fluffing in the back also to make sure that your pins don't show if you have colored hair try to invest in colored bobby pins I should probably get some blonde bobby pins but I just haven't gotten around to it so this is basically what I'm going to do to hide um, all of the gaps and spots in my hair. I'm going to just fluff out the hair that's out and kind of stretch it in the back and sculpt it so that it covers the gaps or any spots that I may have in the back of my updo. Not unless you want like a cute little three part thing. You can keep it. Um, but I'm going to fluff it because I feel it already and I'm just going to turn to the back. You can see what I'm doing. I'm just taking hair and just fluffing it and kind of covering any gaps that I feel are in there. And basically what you're doing now is just sculpting it. You're taking bobby pins and you're just going around your hair and adding them and smoothing it up and seeing where it fits. So basically it's just a little, uh, you know, a little fluff and stuff and then you're just gonna play around with it until it's to your liking I ran out of bobby pins so um, I will scope this look on my own so I'm just gonna end the video right now and then the finished product you'll see in the pictures and the blog post that I'm gonna post for this so click on the link below so you can see more pictures of the more finished look but basically this is all you're doing it's just twisting and pinning all to the front and all to the back and covering up any gaps you may have in the back of your twist with your hair if your hair is shorter if your hair is longer then you should have a smooth all up coil sorry my camera is trying to focus itself <laughs> um but you should have a smooth coil um if your hair is longer but if your hair is medium length or not so long in the back like mine's then you're gonna have a little bit of problem so you just use the excess hair to kind of hide what you don't have girlfriend and basically that is it so now you can wear your hair to prom or 
you know, anywhere fancy or if you just want to do something different. You know, all the options I just gave you in the video before. So, I'm going to go, you know, take some pictures and edit the video and all that good stuff. So, until next time, ladies, kisses to you. And I hope that you've enjoyed this updo. I hope that it was really informational. Um, hope you saw everything because I know I was turning my back. But um, until next time, ladies, love you all. Oh, and by the way, make sure you follow the fan page for um, the blog and the YouTube for No Minus Plus because I'm always adding things, updating it, adding pictures, asking you questions. No Minus Plus mantras every morning for you to have a good day. Uh, I'm always giving you sneak previews of what the next video is through pictures or little video clips and stuff like that. So make sure that you stay updated with me. Um, take this journey with me, all that good stuff. So follow the Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash makeup. I put the link somewhere in this video or in the description box below. So yes, I'm going to leave now because I've already signed off like three times and then started talking. So yeah, love you.